Hello my strong strong friends. Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some my core workout and you guys know that if you've been following the past couple of weeks I've been trying something new to really focus in on my core strength and learn how other athletes train with their core specifically in mind and I've learned a ton of new cool things and some new things that I'm gonna be incorporating into my day-to-day -day workouts that I'm just gonna tack on. I think if I'm being honest, Pilates, the first one, was the one where I like learned the most and saw some movements that one were really, really difficult, but I could see those movements carrying over to my powerlifting strength the most. So I'm gonna start incorporating some Pilates classes and I'm really excited that I've taken this month of January to really focus in and try to remind myself to start something new, get a routine and create a new habit and also rewarding myself with really fun workouts. So I hope that you guys have had fun, fun following me along on this journey. Thanks to Special K who's been partnered with me during this entire journey to fuel my resolution. So it's been really exciting to have them. Um, I talk about nutrition all the time and especially when you're trying something new like I have been doing this past month, it was essential for me to ensure that I'm getting enough, first of all, just enough food period and make sure that I'm supplementing my workouts pre, during, and post-workout. So I've been feeling my resolution with Special K specifically, so thanks to Special K for partnering with me on these videos. It's been a really fun time and thankfully Special K tastes awesome and it's just been really fun to have Special K around all the time, right? I have tons of boxes of those Special K around while I've been working on this project. So I'm really thankful for the opportunity to work with them and it's been really fun. So I hope that you guys have learned something new about nutrition and just expanded your options in regards to thinking about how you can add protein into your meals and how you can get all of the micronutrients that you need so that you're healthy, having fun, and doing some cool stuff this year. So today, um, what I'm gonna do is put together a workout that you guys can join me in and we've put down a 21 day challenge so you guys can try it and join me. I've kind of combined some of the things that we've learned from trying Pilates, from trying a boxer style workout and from trying Ninja Warrior training. I've combined my favorites and what I think will be best for you guys to try and yeah I put together a workout so the workouts will include this video and a couple of other videos that I've created before to give you some good core ideas. And I'm gonna encourage you guys to try something new and try a new challenge. It doesn't have to be Pilates or MMA or Ninja Warrior, those are a little bit crazy, but try something new while you're getting started and try to develop a habit of trying something new. I really encourage you guys to do that and I hope that you can join me on this 21 day challenge. I think it'll be really fun for you guys to build your core strength like a girl makes squats. It's gonna be dope. So yeah, before we go to the gym, I just wanna say thank you guys for following me along the past couple weeks. It's been fun, and yeah, let's get into this awesome workout. All right, fam, we're at the gym, ready to get going. This is gonna be your workout. Are you ready? Because I'm a little scared. I've been warming up and my, my abs are sore. Okay, so first movement, we're gonna do something that we did in the MMA fighter video. Um, so, I have my trusty partner Ryan back here. And so these are gonna be the partner leg throws. So I'm gonna kick my legs up to Ryan and he's gonna throw as hard as he can to try and get, his goal is to get my feet to touch the ground. But my core is so strong that I'm gonna resist that, I'm gonna resist his throw and make sure that I'm never touching the ground. So I wanna get close to the ground, but resist it so that I'm coming back up, swinging back to him. And we're gonna do 10 reps where he's throwing me straight down and 10 on each side. So, ready? We're ready. Straight first, you ready? Yep. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, nine more. 10, <clears throat> to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fight it. Eight, nine, last one. Other side. Ooh. Two, three, good job. Four, five, six, oh. seven. Don't do that. Eight, nine, last one. Good job. Okay, we're gonna try to keep rest pretty minimal, and I'm gonna go straight into hanging leg raises. You guys remember when we went to do some Ninja Warrior training? 
and Arnold told us to keep our, work on our grip strength. I'm out of breath, so it's hard to formulate some thoughts. So this will help if you need to work on some grip strength. And we're gonna do some hanging leg raises, work on the control of our core, and hang up on that bar. So we're gonna see 15 reps here. There's a couple different ways to scale this. So easiest will be just keeping it 90-90. That's what I'm gonna do, honestly. Do 15 reps. Now if you're feeling froggy, you can try and get, swing all the way out, legs extended. It's gonna be a lot harder. Or if you're really crazy, you can try and touch the bar with your toes. And you know, I'm gonna stay right here. <laughs> no shame. Okay, do about 15 reps there. Then we're gonna go straight into the next exercise. All right, we're trying some of our Pilates inspired moves and Ryan, my partner here, is gonna hold my ankles down and I'm gonna get into a halfway rollback. So this is gonna be a slower, more controlled movement than the other two. So try to switch gears a little bit, focus on your form, try to keep things slow. So what I'm gonna do is stand straight up and maybe not spine extended. <laughs> I'm gonna sit straight up while my legs are straight and Ryan's holding my ankles. And what I'm gonna think about is someone's punching me in my stomach. I'm gonna roll at the spine, round the spine, and then I'm gonna slowly roll back. Start to see me shaking a little bit here. And I'm gonna hold and then go straight back up. So when you do these, try and keep yourself a little bit slow. I want you to roll back. And I start shaking right about here. I'm gonna hold for three, two, one, and slowly back up. Now it's not the most intuitive thing, especially for power lifters or strength athletes, to round at the spine, but enjoy this while you can. And if you ever need another cue to reset, think about when Kelly was here, she was punching me in my stomach. So I'm rolling, I've got my ribs down, and then I'm gonna start rolling back. All right, slower movement, but let's see at least 15 of these each round. We're sticking with our Pilates inspiration and we're gonna do some Pilates inspired scissors kicks. So here I'm going to start with my entire body on the ground. I'm gonna roll up into a half crunch, start to feel the burn a little bit, and I'm going to reach for my legs and rotate. So keep the legs extended, toes pointed, and hover the foot close to the ground. Uh, try not to just rest here. You're gonna hover that and keep maintain some tension. And let's do 15 each side. Okay, all right. Try to keep the rest short for me, but as I explain um, our next movement here, one thing that I noticed from all of the movements that we picked up, they're not exactly, and this makes sense because they're not exactly what a power lifter would do, not exactly the entire core and trunk stabilization that a power lifter or strength athlete is really looking for. So what we're gonna incorporate is something that we didn't see in the past few videos, and we're gonna do a Superman pulsing hold. So Superman is something where I'm gonna start on my stomach and extend all of my limbs out so that you can see my body, uh, my hands and my feet are already starting or hovering over the ground. My stomach is pushed into the ground. So what we're gonna do is try to extend as high as we can and pulse here. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can either get a few pulses here or you can rest and do hold reps. So let's see 20 and hold them for five seconds each. So 
So a lot of times when you're searching on the internet looking for a core workout, you usually see an ab workout for the most part. Sometimes people neglect the entire trunk stability for many of these routines. So just keep that in mind when you're using a routine like this to supplement your already programmed uh, routine or program and make sure that you're getting some trunk work in in addition to your ab work. Everybody wants to try and get a six pack, but sometimes you gotta do the exercises that will give you a more balanced, more strong, more healthy physique. Oh, my lower back is burning. And two more. We did it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope some of you can commit to just a 21 day challenge. You can use this workout that we did today along with some of the other videos that I have, along with some rest days, don't worry, I got you. And make sure if you liked this and you joined the challenge to like this video and subscribe if you're not ready. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So come on and be a strong, strong friend. Thank you again to Special K for partnering with me on this series. It's been awesome to fuel my resolution with some delicious Special K treats and cereals. So thank you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.